Hello everyone, I'm ExtraTC87, and this is Let's Play Zero Escape 999 Part... Are we on part 11 or 12? I think we're on part 12. Um, last video, we... What did we do? We finished up the puzzle room in the casino. And then we did the talky talk stuff where everyone meets back up in the hospital again. Um, we were able to skip through most of that. And then we went through door number seven or eight, I don't remember which one, and then Clover got locked in the, the what you call it, laboratory, and we have to get her out, because she's dumb, because she's all, like, super depressed, just because Snake got, well, he, he's just lost at this point. We don't, we don't actually know what happened to him. Yet, that is. Um, there's, like, an activation, a keyhole for the activation key. Okay, so we don't have a key yet. That's probably, like, the last thing we need. The hands on the clock have stopped moving. The clock may stop, but time goes on. We need to figure out a way out of here. Okay? So we got some... Ethanol. I wonder if this is for antisept antisepsis, or whatever that is. It's anhydrous ethanol. Anhydrous. Hydrous. Is that different from regular ethanol? Oh, come on, that's common knowledge. It is a powerful cleaner that can erase even marks left by a permanent marker. Okay, so when we murder all of you, we'll need this to wipe up the blood, I guess. These lockers are a little larger than the ones on the top. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. And no, nothing. So they're all... Okay. And these are locked, I would presume. Red lights, huh? Well, can't hurt to give these babies a try. Yep, just as I thought. Locked tight, all nine of them. I wonder if there's anything important in there. Well, I would assume so. We got a computer. Just fucking, you know, log on the interwebs. That power isn't on. Well, there is a power button. Is it plugged in? I don't see a power cable. Well, well I guess it's like a monitor cable, maybe, but... This thing isn't even connected to the main computer! It's got a monitor, keyboard, mouse, but that's it. Just sticking the power cable in isn't going to do anything. Oh, I don't know about that. What? Well, look at all these, all these cords. Tell me not one of them is it's a lot of stuff. Don't know how we could use any of these. I can say for sure I know how but I do know how to use at least one of these things. Which one? The one on top, I think it's a power cable. A power cable, huh? We may as well take it. Man, it's a very badly textured power cable. Um and I guess the monitor? The thing you also say that we shouldn't Uh, and the other needs to plug into the desk. Let's just slip you in. Well, shoot, I can't use this. What's wrong? The cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. We'll just fucking jam it in there, man. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to change the power cable to one with two prongs. Okay. So we need another thing to... I'm not really seeing a whole hell of a lot. The lender made a really thick gas. I don't think even a bullet could break it. Junpei, do something, please! Okay, well... Okay, so we got... I don't know what this table is, but part of it's all black. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a pin. Maybe use the table black. You can only use the table on pin on one part of it. There's probably something underneath all that pin, Clover. Do you think you can erase it? Sure. Oh, with our ethanol? Yes, yes. Give me just a minute. So I guess maybe we have to go click on the bars of their ethanol to hand it to her. What am I gonna wipe with? Yeah, your clothes. We're in a life or death situation. Kidding, just kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You're scared. It's, it's a life or death situation. We will all drown and die if we don't get out of here. What in the hell is wrong with you people? I think this thing's supposed to power the machine in the other room, but it doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder how we're supposed to turn it on. Huh. So we need, like, a napkin or something, I guess. I'm not really seeing anything napkin-y. There's two levers. You think they activate something? Why don't you move one? Alright, I'll give it a try. Nope. Let's go look back. Is there anything? I mean, there's, like, these towels here. 
Oh my god, is Clover that fucking dumb that she, we had to tell her to use the towels that are right next to the thing? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, she got the call. She's just having a little trouble with the bottle of the ethanol. She's ready. I should ask her to get to work on the stuff on the table. Uh, yes. It's working. It's wiping the permanent ink off. It's like a tic-tac-toe. Some kind of weird drawing under all the permanent ink. What's the deal with that drawing Clover found? Uh, maybe I should ask her to take another look at the table. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers and some type of grid. Okay. You got a pen and a notebook, right? Could you write? Wait, where'd you get the notebook? Um, could you write those numbers down and then hand them through me through the bars? Okay. Got it. Bars. Paper with numbers on it acquired. New materials been added to the file screen. I don't know how do you check that shit. Because I mean, file? I was never able to figure out how to go to the. A clever thing. Okay. So it's 3241. I have a sheet of paper somewhere. I'm still in the situation where I actually have a pencil! Oh my god! Lord of all things. So I'll just write this down so I don't have to check this screen ever again. 3. Two, four, one. Got it. Okay, off. So I assume that has something to do with these, maybe? Or these? I mean, it's not letting me do anything with them. Some cardboard boxes. What's in the box? Parts are always technical and stuff, I don't really get it. We tried all that. We tried to come back over here, we don't have the power cable. Huh. Did we click on the keyboard and everything? Click on that. We don't have the thing. We're just missing the thing we're supposed to click on. I mean, I assume this is the way out, right? Like, I thought we could really do anything with that. Um, oh, maybe on this? Is there a bunch of cables? Is there like an outlet or something? I mean, you got Mr. Robot Man. There's a creepy mannequin in here. Got the scribblings. I wonder what this is. This thing here looks like a volt meter. And this is the control for that. Gosh, there's so many dials. Why don't you try turning on one of them? Uh, nope, nothing. There's no power here, guys. Turn the dial a whole bunch. Well, she probably just messed it up. Okay, the wires. What the hell are they doing in here? Why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans. Probably. Hmm. How are the power cables over there? Yeah, is there a thingy-majigger. Plug of three prongs or two? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. The cable on the monitor has... It's got two of those little metal things. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Well, that's... God, man, there's so many difficulties. Um, how about just the plug? Well, yeah, that'd be fine. Maybe there's more like a connector? It's sort of a thing that makes the plug with three metal thingies go into a plug with two metal thingies? Still useless? Not useless, not useless at all! This is who we were looking for. Alright, gimme gimme. Unplugged, I'll hand it to you over at the bars. Man, look at Clover actually being useful. Maybe all my shit talk, you know, I have to pay for it. Talking about how useless she'd be in this uh, area. Yeah, I meant to combine, not search. Let's go. So now we go back over to our monitor. Where? There it is. Under the desk I go. And let's just plug this thing into the monitor. Alright, that ought to do it. Uh, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. I mean, yeah, that's generally you, you need to plug your monitor into your computer. 
You never know until you try. Pretty optimistic. And of course it works. Oh, huh, that worked. What? Is it talky talk, Tom? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? Yeah. What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. Maybe they got electric Wi-Fi. <laughs> the only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? It looks kind of old to be that. Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Oh. Oh, it stopped. And some fancy shit over there. A pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Oh, shit. That's probably in the uh, the locked stuff, I would guess. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. Or it has something to do with the tic-tac-toe well, thing What are you going got. to do? I'll I think I we were supposed to use the tic-tac-toe thing to open those uh, locked things. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? All right. Let's kick some ass. Okay, it's a computer. Uh, oh, she's typing. Wait, what? She's typing. Didn't expect that, did you? Of course God. I didn't. <laughs> You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. What kind of job do you have? What are you? I'm unemployed at the moment. Aren't we all? I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Why? Huh? Oh. Um. It was just something. Oh well, now now you have to tell us. You can't be I all see. vague like that. Hmm. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? <laughs> a brute force attack is. Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Uh-huh. No, oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? But I thought we had to log on to the computer first. <laughs> The wireless like, display? Like, how do you do all that? This, like, I don't, I don't quite understand, in all honesty. It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. Like, wouldn't you not be able to access any programs on the start screen? <laughs> how do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, alright? So you enter 1 plus 1. The screen will show you 2. Okay. See? Isn't that strange? No. Uh, no? Not really. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The computer? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. <laughs> what kind of caveman talks like that? Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. I don't know if the caveman would understand what a wire is. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. <laughs> Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Dude, poor Clover having to sit in there by herself while they're like, you know, talking about things completely unnecessary Nothing to like actually really. progressing. It's just, I thought maybe. What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? Well, let's.
Let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. Like they're doing in the laboratory down there with all the wires and the Frankenstein guy? A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Well, well let's not do that. <laughs> ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Can we not cut up part people's brains? Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Maybe the brain is just an output device, like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. This is like some matrix shit right here. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains, where we experience that information as thoughts. Um... <laughs> the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, Maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Or his brain could just be damaged, causing him to have difficulties. I mean, you know. Huh. I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can speak or see. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopag what? What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? I mean, come on. What kind of nerd? I mean, have you not heard of prosopagnosia? No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like uh, blanks? No, no, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? Yes. To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. I guess. Even though they've obviously got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The zoo staff that works with them would learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. Well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What? What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Adulting? Mm hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> you know, we are all going to die. You it's know? nothing more than a story I made up. I mean, I guess technically she is, like, Seriously. doing her stuff at the same time, as you can tell from the fucking clicking that's been going on for the past, like, five minutes. But it's, uh... It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to I do, I do like how the you know you're in this like time limit type thing. You got nine hours to get through all the puzzles, and there's like extended periods of time so they just sit around and talk about shit that doesn't have anything to do with what's going on. But looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Even though this, this, I do like the scenes or whatever, but it, it's kind of funny. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> oh my god, so much porn. <laughs> the screen changed again. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's a deadly Rubik's Cube. No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. Uh -huh. See? The keyboard. So, if we had, like, just brought someone besides Lotus with this, we would have been fucked. Like, if the nothing. numbers had worked out differently? So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... 
Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, all right? I mean, I think we do probably have the easier job here. I did my part. Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Okay, so it's... So we had three in the top right corner, two... Well, it's three in the top left, two here, four here, and one here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, well, that was a very hard puzzle. <laughs> oh, we did all the real work here. I didn't realize it was going to be that easy. Did you hear a noise just now? Oh, that, did that unlock the lockers, maybe? I mean, that's like the only thing left, so... Look, Junpei, the lights in the lockers are green! They must have unlocked with a computer puzzle. Why do you only ever open the one locker? Oh, we got a key and another key. That's probably for the activation thingy. Has the earth symbol on it. I think the earth symbol matches the keyhole in the door on A deck. Well, if that's the case, you probably don't need the earth key right now. Alright, the earth key then. Uh, just tuck you away deep in my pocket. This is where he loses it. Activation key. What key is this? From the shape of it, I'd say it's not for a door. Probably some sort of device. Oh! I wonder, do you think maybe this is the activation key for that thing? Well, it is called an activation key, so yeah, I would think so. Mm-hmm, I feel good about this one. Hey, Junpei, do you have a minute? No, we have no minutes. What's up? We wasted all our time talking about weird fucking pseudoscience. I, um, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Yes. Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Oh, he said lots of weird fucking things, but nothing, you know, like nothing with that you're looking for. Uh-huh. Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but... He also said he could walk down the stairs backwards, because, you know... That's about it. Like, really fast. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if, uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. Okay, that would explain a little bit of it. And I, at least having like some level of familiarity with what the world looks when like. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. Because that's like one of those things, like, I could maybe, like, under, like, you know, being born blind. Like, I can kind of understand how, like, people who, like, lose their vision are still able to, like, get around and everything. But, man, that's just, like, spooky scary to me. The idea of just permanent blindness and not really knowing what, uh what the world even looks like and like not arm. even having like any real conception so to speak his arm his arm yeah my brother's left arm is um it's not like a normal person does he have like, does he have a fucking robot cyborg arm it's fake it's not a real arm the accident hurt him really bad to save him they they had to cut off his arm hmm oh uh, Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. Alright, back to activating the key. This key, the shape sure makes it seem like it goes in the machine. Let's turn it on. Ooh, spooky green glow. And it's full of letters. Showing some kind of warning. Uh, power restored to experimental device. Uh, we're gonna awaken robot Frankenstein. Emergency system will activate in the event of an abnormal subject behavior. Okay. Maybe on the keyboard to do a squat. Okay, I guess we have to go look at the thingy. There's a mannequin. I can't really tell very well from here, but it looks like there are a bunch of electrodes. Now that's it. It's the monitor. Oh, you would probably have to mess with this thingy. Because it wasn't on, right? 
Yeah, that's because we activated the power over on this side. Could you, like, play with it a little? <laughs> I'll turn this dial here. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Well, maybe she missed something? I should ask her to look around the room again. Well, we got some cables. We got this thingy. Got a sink. Some weird color stains all over the sink. Well, that's not spooky. If you increase the voltage, roger. Will do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage. This one goes up to 11. But max voltage? Hey! Wait, Clover! Aw, oh, shit. Oh man, now Robot Frankenstein's gonna be super powerful. Um, I think... Well, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Oh my god, the mannequin's head! Oh, that's really not good. Well, goodbye, Clover. <laughs> fire detected, fire detected. Granted, I guess the smoke can come into our room through the bars, so we're also kind of fucked. But does that mean the door unlocked at least? Okay, it did. Well, how do we get Clover out? Shouldn't we? Fucker. Uh, the light, it's green. The emergency system is activated. Disable the lock. Okay. I don't know how to get her out. Clover's in trouble. We gotta save her now. I don't know what to do. The screen's all red. My function experiment is continued. Uh, uh, it won't let us leave. Oh, here's a door. I didn't even realize that was a door. I thought that was just a wall. Yeah, it's green. The emergency is activated and save the lock. And I can save Clover. <laughs> oh man, no. It's Almost left Clover to die because I didn't want to open the door. <laughs> Time that you close this door again, I think. Dude, there's a open bars over there. It doesn't really matter. Just get out. Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Of course I'm not alright. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I'm almost dead. Or I was almost dead. Well, that's your own fault because you turned up the max voltage and exploded the head. Sorry, I was going as fast as I could. <laughs> yeah, we totally weren't going to just ditch Fire's not gonna stay in that room forever. Yeah, please get me out. Okay, we did that. Well, no, that took 20, that's 27 minutes. I really didn't feel like that puzzle took that long, but. Granted, a lot of that was just the, the talky talking. It was probably a good, like, eight Ooh, minutes thank of that. God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Okay. I'll probably keep going for a little bit Damn, longer. None of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Let's go. Jumpy! Huh? Hello? June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? Did we, we already we, establish that we we're didn't... gonna loop back around? Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. It's a map. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. Yeah, we so basically, it's a map for this floor yeah, then? it loops back around. We kind of Door already seven. know all this. Door 8. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. Dialogue's just slightly different because yeah. it's you different. I Actually, I think the style is all the same. We're going to be split up permanently. To, we might get separated. From, otherwise, we won't be able to. That's how the notary. Yeah, we've, we've seen all this dialogue already. Wait a sec. This Boy. leads to... Because these are all like the same characters and everything. It was just different groups. Okay, the we key? meet up with Ace. The key. The Ain't key. that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Oh yeah, because we didn't get it Here. this time. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. Wait, I thought we needed. No, no, no. We needed the Saturn key card. Yeah. I'm gonna let you hold on or to that. All right. Mercury or Venus. Mars, one of those, one of the planets. Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you too, then. Here, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. Wait, what? When did you find it in the kitchen? You were with us. Oh, in the first, the first room, the first uh, puzzle room is the kitchen. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way, it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah. 
On it. So how many unused keys do we have now? Okay, I think the we've Earth key seen we all this. Okay, we have not seen all this yet. The Jupiter key and the Saturn key card from Lotus. This is just slightly I'll different since safe. we didn't actually have it ourselves. You got it from Lotus. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then next to the stairs. Know, we might play and try and get to the next door choice. Wait. What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. Yeah, I think we. I know we've seen this stuff. Yeah. This is where they go into door three and everything and find bad things. Then we gotta go find all the doors. And I assume we'll also have to have a very, very long explanation about water and shit. Of course there's a reason. Yeah, well now, now here we have to learn, and they have to spend like 15 minutes discussing why the elevator is or is not wet. Um, well, since we didn't pick this one last time, let's go with it. Well, um, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> God, that's so creepy. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> Don't laugh. Jumpy? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never... you know... It's your first time? <laughs> I might... get wet. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, oh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... that's true. <laughs> you... don't mind? Mind what? Getting, Getting wet. Wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy. You're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man <laughs> is supposed to do. Uh, exactly. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. <laughs> I'm... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Damn, I didn't realize it's going to be that long of a scene. Yes. I thought it was going to be like a little, like that one-off joke at the very beginning. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. <laughs> and then it'll be over. Oh my god. Uh, over? Over? Yes. We'll go to heaven. I don't think that's how it works. Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space, and your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. Although, I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? Huh? But it would happen to men, too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing <laughs> happens to everyone. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. <laughs> man, that's some interesting... Well, Eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. <laughs> Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. Oh my god, I'm gonna die on fucking, uh, on recording. I'm gonna choke on my water. What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. <laughs> just gonna... Oh my god. I'm just saying that that's what oh. happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? I know most men probably have larger lungs, but <laughs> even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. 
Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Now, Junpei has to act all, you know, fucking casual, and he totally knew what she was talking about the whole time. Uh, huh. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Junpei is broken. He is dead. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged okay. floor. Okay, no, that's that's that the old dialogue. Scary. God. That was, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Good thing we pushed on to... Granted, I mean, we would have done that regardless, but... It is going to make the video a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, because I didn't realize that scene was going to take, like, four minutes, but... Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. <laughs> huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done okay. looking around down here. I guess that's because we had the whole thing about oh. earlier. By getting wet. We've got a map of Edek. Now we're back. Found some doors. Let's go check up with Seven and, and everyone else. Yeah, Seven and Ace were the ones who went. I was going to say Santa, but Santa was with us. <clears throat> Snake got exploded. And they have to go check that out because apparently we can't believe them. Not really too much to add here. <laughs> um, Junpei wasn't sure because we already picked both of those, so at least I think we. Oh, but yeah, I think it's because when I had to replay this section, I had to go back through this because uh, picking the different door. I guess I didn't have to. I think I just went back further than I needed to when I had to after I picked the wrong door and a few videos ago before we got our first ending. <clears throat> Which I don't actually know what door we're supposed to go through. I think we're supposed to go through one this time. I believe. Which is the one I went through by accident in the earlier video. This is, wait, it's doors one, two, and... What is the other door? Is it just one and two? Six. Yeah, that's it. Okay, blah blah blah. <clears throat> oh yeah, and that's when Lotus is trying to murder Seven. <laughs> and Junpei is a dirty cheater. But we will uh, do a little bit more on that in the next video, guys. We've already gone over time by a good bit because of that dialogue about getting wet. Um, you know, because we just had to have that. Even though it was pretty good, but you know. I didn't think it was going to go on that long. Um, I'm xuz 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.